Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another day in my life around Seoul. It is Saturday and I am finally leaving my apartment. I feel like I spend so much time just staying at home and not going out and seeing Seoul and I definitely want to do that this year. Today we are meeting up with my friend Ruth. I've known her since middle school. We're going to get some Mexican food because we are both from the border and we miss our Mexican food. We are also going to a really pretty cafe. I'm excited for this cafe. I feel like it's one of those places that you always see on Instagram. But yeah, we're just gonna have a good time together. The weather looks beautiful, blue skies. It does look a little bit hot, which is not exciting, but I'm still excited to spend my weekend with a friend and show you around. Before we go, I just wanted to show you some skincare products that I've been using and loving, and this video is part of my April Skin giveaway. If you didn't see my first giveaway last month, I'm going to be giving away some products from April Skin every month for the rest of 2021. A huge thank you to April Skin for partnering with me in this video and for having these giveaways possible because I love being able to give away products to you all. So let's get into the video. The first thing I did was that I washed my face using the Dear Claire's Gentle Black Facial Cleanser. I just started using this cleanser like a few weeks ago and I like it so far. It's pretty good. So because we are going to be doing a mask, I'm going to do the toner afterwards, but I'm going to be using the April Skin Real Calendula Peel Off Pack. Now this is a peel off mask and I know that Everyone is like, no, peel-off masks are bad for you. And while I do agree that some peel-off masks can be pretty aggressive on your skin, this is not aggressive at all. It comes off in like one go. This peel-off mask is vegan and cruelty-free, and it's super gentle on your skin, and it helps to exfoliate dead skin cells and clean your pores without irritating your skin. It also has orange and tea tree oil, which helps with acne and sensitive skin. And when I use this mask, I feel like it just immediately makes my face look brighter and radiant. Not brighter and like whiter, but more like illuminated and just radiant. But I really like this mask. So it has been 30 minutes and I <laughs> look crazy because it's already starting to lift around my mouth, but I'm going to remove it. And I love that this mask comes off so easily, like you're not like ripping off your skin. If I get it right, it could probably come off in like one entire go. Yeah. That is it. And here you can see up close a little bit more, like the actual pieces of calendula flower. My skin is looking bright. Yeah, my skin looks good. Like, and it feels super soft. It feels super smooth. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and like rinse off my face really quick and just get off all the little extra spots. To finish off my skincare routine, I'm going to take some toner. This is the April Skin Artemisia Rice Essence Toner. And just to keep my skincare routine a little bit simple today, since I am running late as per usual. I'm going to use the Medicube Super Sika Water in Cream. And of course we are going outside so we definitely need sunscreen. This is the Round Around Green Tea Sika Mild Sun Stick. That is pretty much it for my skincare routine for today. And just like my previous giveaway video, I will be giving away a product from April Skin. I will be giving away the Calendula Peel Off Mask. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, Follow me on Instagram and in the comments below, leave any comment. You can comment anything. In your comment, make sure to leave some way that I can contact you, like your Instagram username or Twitter username. Just let me know how I can contact you. Just make sure to remove the at because I've noticed that it's been deleting a lot of people's comments. I can see your comment, but then it gets deleted. I don't know why YouTube does that, but all the details will be in the description box below. Thank you again to April Skin for partnering with me in this video and for allowing me to be able to do these giveaways for you all. Before we go and meet my friend Ruth, I'm actually going to get my nails done because I took off my acrylics. This is actually the longest my nails have probably ever been. This is a lot of growth for me. For me, this is long. I have a terrible nail biting habit. I have bitten my nails since I was like in elementary school. And I've tried the nasty nail polish, I've tried band-aids, I've tried 
rubber bands I've tried it all and it has not helped but for me I feel like what helps me to help my nails grow is by just getting them done and it's also like a part of self-care for me when I came to Korea I lived in Sejong and I went to a nail artist and I went to her for two years like she was the only person that I really trusted with my nails honestly and truly nails are pretty expensive in Korea and especially if you're trying to get extensions or acrylics, that's gonna be like $10 per finger. So that's already starting at $100, not including color or any design. And for me, obviously I need that with my nail biting habit. And that has helped my nails grow so much. So now that I am in Seoul, I found this nail shop in Yongdungpo. I found them on my Instagram, honestly. I think it was just their Instagram ads. It just reminded me very much of like the Tumblr collage aesthetic back in the day. It just attracted me and spoke to me. And so I went to them and I've been going to them for the past two or three months. So we are going there today. They're super sweet. Both of them speak English. They are just the sweetest girls ever. So they have this rainbow design that I really love. I might do that or I might do another one that I saw on my Instagram page. I don't know, we'll see when we get there. Let's go because I'm already very late. I'm so late, oh my goodness. Why am I always late to everything? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go, let's go. happy with them they are the sweetest ladies ever they are sisters and they own the shop together and I found them through a promotion on like one of my Instagram ads at the time they were having a promotion for their extension and acrylic nails like I said before extensions in Korea are really expensive starting price is usually 100,000 won and that doesn't even include a design or color their promotion did end but they actually let me know that if you watch my video and you go to them or if you let them know that and brought you here or that you saw my video that they will give you the promotional price which is 99,000 won and that includes color so that is so nice of them I totally didn't even expect that definitely please support them they are next to Yodupo market exit it's so loud and it's so windy now but um, right now I think I'm just gonna eat something unfortunately it took a little bit longer than expected and my friend is unable to eat so Looks like we're going around Seoul solo, but I still want tacos, so we're gonna get tacos.
to sit on the bench, but someone else already claimed it. So I guess I'll just sit on the rocks. <laughs> I was planning on sitting here and enjoying my scone, watching the sunset, but there are way too many bugs out here. I am not a bug girl at all. Today did not go the way that I expected it to. I ended up not meeting with my friend, unfortunately. And the cafe I wanted to go to, it's not really a cafe where you can go by yourself. I mean, you could, but I don't know. There's like a certain point where I end up not doing a lot of things in Korea because you can't really do it by yourself, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of stuff I want to see but most of the time I am by myself I do live alone and I feel like it's really just me stopping myself from being able to do those things because at the end of the day people are gonna stare at me because I'm black I'm a foreigner so I shouldn't let that bother me but sometimes I do I'm still glad that I came outside and I got to see this beautiful sunset like I've actually never been here before. I'm on the western side of Hangang, more farther than Hapjong, and it literally is right in front of Han River. Like I could walk into it if I wanted to, which I will not do because that is disgusting. <laughs> Even though I'm disappointed that things didn't turn out the way that I envisioned it to, it was still a beautiful day and I still got to get my nails done and I got to see the beautiful sunset and I got to go outside. I've been spending so much of my time at home not really doing anything because I've been overworked. I have so many videos to edit for you all. I have so much to do on my full-time job, my teaching job, and trying to like balance all of that while also having a social life and then also still trying to make content for YouTube. It's a lot. It's a lot. But we move and we learn and grow. I think I'm gonna show you all the sunset because the sun is like going down and I'm gonna miss it but I'm gonna show you the sunset and then I think I'll end up going back home. There were way too many big bugs there, like... I was scared for my life taking those video clips. I hope you all are grateful. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't. Like, me and nature, we don't do well together. But that is it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed staying the day with me around Seoul. Again, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, just make sure to check the description box for all the rules. Thank you again to April Skin for partnering with me in this video and of course, providing these giveaways to all of you. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.